What's up with you? All right, man, I got a question the other day, and basically he was asking me, should men pay for the first date? And so, in my opinion, the answer to that question, yes, and always. But let me say this. And this video, it may get a lot of hate because I'm about to talk some shit. But this is the advice that I would give face to face. So it is what it is. All right, listen. First thing is, if it is a problem for you to pay for the first date, then you don't need to be dating in the first place. You need to be getting your shit together. You need to be figuring out a way that you can make more money so that 20 or $30 will not ruin you financially or put a dent in your pocket. The reason I'm making this video is because I've been getting questions like this from dudes for the past couple of weeks about how much they should spend on the first date. I tell you what, if I'm a woman and a dude asks me out on a date and I'm hungry and my stomach growling and shit, my damn stomach rubbing my back and this bastard try to take me to fucking Dunkin Donuts and get me a cup of coffee and an apple fritter. Oh, me and that bastard, we gonna have a problem. Fellas, listen. I'm not saying you should spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on the first date. But at least go to a place you would go without her if you were actually hungry. That's it. Let me ask you this. Would you eat a damn apple fritter if your stomach was growling? Probably not. Guys, it's okay to feed a woman some real food on a first date. That don't make you a beta male or a simp. That just makes you normal. A normal ass man that respects women. I tell you what, man, this beta and simp shit done gone too damn far. Y'all y'all need to cut this shit out, man. Get it together, Pimpin. Another thing I want to touch on is having your own place and your own transportation. Fellas, at least get your own car. How the hell can you call yourself dating somebody that has to come and pick you up? I, I, can, I can't even wrap my head around that shit. She has to come and pick you up. Y'all go to her house or get a room. Do what y'all do. And then she has to drive you back home and drop you off like a damn child. Like like a damn child that, that went on a field trip. And now the adult is dropping them back off at home. Ain't no damn way. No cap. If I don't have my own car and my money kind of funny, my finance is low, my shit won't even get hard. It won't work. I'm too uncomfortable. I'm, I'm kind of out of my element, out of my comfort zone. I'm telling you, I was laying in bed with a chick one time. And she was rubbing on my chest and she was like, come on, what's wrong? And I was like, shit, I told her. I got $3.17 in my bank account. Ain't nothing happening tonight. Hell, but that's me, man. If y'all can do it, that's on y'all. And, and one more damn thing. Well, shit, I hope this ain't turning into a rant. But hell, if it is, well, hell. If it is, I don't give a damn. But another thing. I got this question the other day, too. He wanted me to explain the importance of having your own place. Let me explain. Fellas, women want to be with a man that is stable and responsible. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, I got two sisters. And I told them, you ain't taking care of no man. Now, that doesn't mean he has to take care of you either. But he should be able to provide you with some stability. He should have something. He can't be broke. No money, no car, living with somebody. And, and let me say this. And this goes to the fellas. If that's your situation, I'm not going to bash you. We all go through shit from time to time. But what I am going to say is you need to cut women off. I mean, all the way off. Don't give out your number. Don't get no new numbers. 
cut them off completely and start working on getting your shit together. Fuck dating, fuck women. All that bullshit is on the back burner. Basically, at this point, look at it like this. You don't qualify to date. You don't bring shit to the table. All you can do is take from a woman. Right now, you can't contribute or improve her life. So get a job, get your own car, find your own place. But, but as far as the place, I know I got off topic a while back, but uh, back to the reason why having your own place is so important. See, fellas, women like privacy. They like to be discreet. They don't like everybody in their business. And the more people are around when y'all link up, the higher the chances of somebody running their damn mouth and blowing up a spot. Let me explain and tell y'all what I mean. She might have a boyfriend and you might be the side dude, but you live with your two cousins. Now, they don't know that you decide, dude. Okay, let's just hypothetically say one day she out with her boyfriend walking through Walmart and one of your cousins see her and say, I'm just going to make up a name. One of your cousins see her and speak and just be like, hey, what's up, Tasha? And now her boyfriend going to look at her like, who is that? How do you know that dude? And now she got to explain all that shit. See, you don't want that. Trust me. It's just going to be better for everybody if she can just come to your house with nobody around. And y'all spend time together. She leaves with nobody watching. And everything remains in order. Everything stays nice and peachy. All right, y'all, I done took up enough of your time on this video, man. I hope I did a good job explaining that to y'all later.